I also got a video to show you, but right now, if you guys think the whole entire Bay Area situation isn't bad enough, well, we already have crazy high in car break-ins, right? If you go to Oakland, it's the city where there's the highest amount of car break-ins. Not exactly a thing for a city to be proud of, but people on the boats are like, you know what? There's car break-ins, but we should be okay. You know, we'd be parking our yachts, our boats in some of these areas. I don't really think people are going to be breaking into our boats. Well, guess what, right? Look at all of these boats in the marina. Not only are the equipment on some of these boats very expensive, but people do put a lot of their valuables on these boats. And of course, with cars being targeted, boats are going to be the last thing people think that's going to be like the next target for criminals. But now we have literal pirates that actually have small boats and hovercraft that go along the side of the Bay Area and targeting large ships, yachts, and boats. Because many times a lot of these boats are not crewed by anyone. And rarely do people just stay on the boat for days and days on end. And also the equipment on these boats go for thousands and thousands of dollars, which a lot of these thieves are starting to notice. Hey, target a good looking boat, take their equipment. You're probably making like several bunch of racks. Like you're probably making like twenty, thirty thousand dollars worth of equipment and some of these ships. So if you check this out, Oakland, it's crazy. Like when you think of pirates, you think of like Somalia pirates, right? You think of pirates in like third world countries where they don't have anything to eat. So you literally have to like hijack cargo ships and shit and stuff. But in Oakland, you literally have people in these small dinky little boats, these inflatables, whatever it is, and they literally just go along the coast of these marinas and looting ships. And let me show you guys a video. It's absolutely crazy. Like you'll never imagine this. This is an owner on a boat and who's filming and actually captures a pirate and trying to target his dock. Look at this. That is a literal pirate, guys. Okay, The person is actually going through the marina, driving by to see empty boats and ships to go in, find loot, and steal things. I mean, it just doesn't get any worse than this, right? This is the Bay Area we're talking about. This is supposed to be a place where like a lot of tech is happening. You know, It shouldn't be this way. If you go to Miami, you would not see this kind of stuff, right? If you go to other beach areas, even like New York City, I mean, there's like marinas, you go park your boat. You don't actually have pirates. And now homeless pirates are now marauding through the crime-ridden San Francisco Bay. And many Bay Area residents are sharing their experiences of literally fighting off pirates. And there's already photos and videos that are coming out on Twitter talking about this whole situation. And seriously, guys, go talk to some of your friends, go talk to your families, ask them, hey, did you know California has pirates? They would absolutely be shocked. They probably think you're drunk. But yeah, it's getting worse and worse by the day. In fact, there's actually a lot of pirates who go to these places, they cut the ropes on some of these ships and boats, and eventually these boats just drift out and then they get on it, steal the equipment, steal the stuff, and sometimes they even steal the whole entire boat, go for a joyride and it's crashing into something else. And at this point, you know, the Bay Area is just so crazy, right? You can't even have a boat and just feel having like a nice, relaxed state of mind. I mean, you have to always be on edge, even if you have something in the water, not even on land. At this point, they might even be targeting airplanes. Who knows? The Bay Area is just such an interesting place. Who in the world would have known that there would be literal pirates in some of these areas? And it's becoming more and more common because... A lot of these things, it's like a spread of mouth, right? Criminals, they go to these boats, they steal like $20,000 worth of equipment. They talk about it, they brag about it, and then now a lot of people are getting into this business, right? Apparently, it's a very lucrative business because if you loot a car, you're only going to get like maybe what, somebody's iPad or laptop and a bunch of clothes. Tourist cars are being hit, but now the lucrative thing in the Bay Area is attacking ships and small boats and the occasional mid-sized yacht. This is insane. I mean, at this point, they might as well just send in a National Guard and have like the Coast Guard patrol up and down the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay. This is unacceptable. Okay, we're seeing more and more of this every single day. And what's worse is like people actually do call the police for this. There's a guy, a boat owner, who actually saw his boat literally being taken, right? It crashed somewhere and there's people on it. Cause the police says, my boat's right there. There's people on it. The cops are like, yeah, we can't really do anything. You gotta have like a warrant. You gotta have like a police report. 
So like the cops are like super slow too. It's like a snail's pace. They can't really do much. Right? I'm sure some cops in the San Francisco area they want to do things, but they can't. You know, not only their laws holding them back, but also there's a massive police officer shortage. And also the whole California situation, you know, a lot of police officers aren't as helpful as you think they are. So the dude's like, what, like this doesn't make any sense. He just called an insurance company. I mean, only in California where the insurance company will probably help you more than the police department. And it's kind of sad to see it that way. And a lot of residents are saying that they're pretty fed up about this, right? One woman even recounted how she had to rescue another resident on a sailboat in the middle of the night after pirates slashed his rigging lines during an argument. You know, thieves are also going everywhere. You know, the water is no longer safe. And look at this, right? Smaller vessels are seen piled up on the jetty around larger boats. Residents said that the homeless people are stealing a lot of different stuff. They're even stealing other people's smaller ships and vessels and using them to target larger vessels. This is crazy. Like, you don't expect this for, like, like a first world tier city. You know, Bay Area is supposed to be a place of innovation and tech. You don't expect pirates. So what's happening is some homeless people are even just straight up swimming to some of these smaller boats, hijacking one, and then targeting bigger boats. And I wouldn't even be surprised if this is gonna get scaled up because right now there's nothing being done about it. So it's just like positive reinforcement. People, a lot of other thieves are like, hold on a second. Nothing's being done, right? And we're all good. There's not really any arrest. Let's just keep doing this. And we're going to be seeing like organized seafaring crime in the San Francisco Bay, which is crazy. You can't even park a yacht without feeling safe. And at this point, I think everyone's just kind of fed up with this whole situation. And this is why so many companies and businesses are moving out. You know, San Francisco, I'm not going to lie. It's a, it's a great place, right? I've been here before a pandemic. I say this in very, every video. It really is a great place. Like the culture and stuff is great. The nightlife is great. Well, not anymore, right? A lot of people like this place. They'll love to move back, but they know that the city is probably not gonna change anytime soon. For San Francisco and the rest of the area to be good again, or maybe try to be even better than before is super drastic changes, like insanely drastic changes, which I'm not sure that San Francisco and the voters are ready for. And we got elections coming up for San Francisco. We got like the heir to Levi Fortune running, against you know mayor breed you know i i have no clue what to say i mean i feel like what the bay area really needs is some good politicians I mean, politicians are a little bit hard on crime the laws here the fines here are just super lax and nothing's ever being done but yeah man like tell your friends tell your family you know literally pirates going down like these marinas and trying to steal like boats and also other stuff and expensive equipment because the boating hobby is not cheap and many of the ex 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 equipments and also stuff on these boats, they're very, very pricey and that's exactly what they're targeting. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.